front, couldn't hang on. Bolton with the spin, and then outside of the boot. Shay Bolton! You've got to give Tom Lynch a lot of credit there, three on one. As a tall forward, you should never be outmarked. You have to at least get it to ground, and he did. And then you've just got sublime ability in Shea Bolton there, the gather, but then the finish under pressure. That's as good as it gets. Amadi again, Mills. Franklin imposes himself on the contest. Got a dribble along the ground. Has a cut through without a touch. He thinks it has. It really was something out of nothing. Franklin there at the stoppage. Looked like it was guaranteed to be touched on the way through, but just found a way. Much needed goal for the Swans. Aish receives. Jordan Clark with the run. Delivery was good for O'Meara, but knocked away. And Fremantle just running oh. in waves now and enjoying all the celebrations. Oh. How about that from Fast Freddy? We'll have superstars of our game turning it on in high scoring free flowing battles like this. <laughs> That'll bring more people to the footy. More of that. How good is that? Flair and brilliance and personality. Halfway point now. Zach Tui is screaming for Geelong numbers to come back and support. Oh, King! Oh! How could you drop those in earlier and hang on to a mark like that? What a fantastic mark and what a time for the King to rise. <laughs> oh, well done. Rankin. Oh, add that to the Rankin file. He is the best 450 stoppage player in the competition by a mile. How clever is that? Hand to foot in an instant. If you got him covered, then you have it. Pretty good job at the start by Farrell, but then he just falls asleep. Yeah. What a wizard. Lost home defends gallantly, so does Grimes. Now it's up to Graham. Ball spills in the tackle. Pendlebury takes him on left foot around the corner. He had a ball jumping every inch way. Wow, this was absolutely fantastic. The tackling, first of all, to spill loose. And then the Pendlebury could have gone there. Just the poise and composure. And he was delighted with his efforts. Hind hopes for Davy. Few Saints about the place. Here's a chance for Caldwell to set things up. Kicks and goals! <laughs> Whether he meant it or not, that was a gem. It's been incredible. Been outstanding, Jonesy. Boydeman. Here he is again, Jai Caldwell. Floats it goal, not oh. again, surely oh. not Jai Caldwell. <laughs> Couple of miracle goals. Bruin, as much height on it as he could to try and help his teammates at least compete, but Lukosius has his way and he's saying to the umpire, I'm having a shot from on. Jeff Fearing territory, going back as far as he can with a full run up and a mighty thump. Oh! oh. How could you doubt him? Lukosius kicks a monster! So he's played the best game of body work I've seen today. Just a little bump on Zach Tui again before the kick, before the mark came. Tonight is all about those who have championed the red, white and black and played an important part in the St Kilda Football Club reaching this momentous milestone. Opening tonight's proceedings are the on-field heroes who have done this club so very proud. Over 1,600 players have donned the famous tricolours since St Kilda was formed in 1873. Among them, the club's most prestigious and revered names. Now special it is to be joined by some of the greats on St Kilda's Night of Nights. Premiership heroes, Ross Smith, Ian Stewart, Bob Murray, 
and the man immortalised by that famous point, Barry Breen. And the legends forever enshrined in St Kilda's Hall of Fame. Nicky Winmar, Stuart Lowe, Stephen Milne, and tonight's newest inductees, Nick Del Santo and Lee Montagna. And last but not least, one of the greatest to ever play the game, Tony Lockett. score off turnovers is something they've struggled with the Bulldogs and here a shot on goal. For an early statement the Dogs deliver it and they are pumped all of them A really nice moment in the uh, early on in the game where you kicked the goal lifted the shirt off to the crowd run us through what was going through your head during that moment oh, I did want to make a stance, I wanted to show my presence but obviously there's Obviously, what happened on the last weekend was a pretty hard time. Um, so just going out there and just proving a point that, like, I'm just a boy trying to play some football, same as the other Indigenous boys.